Welcome to this week's YouTube video, first job for the week. Here we are. Burning. Get a bit of fire going, clean this paddock up for some laser backing we're gonna do later on in the week. This is our AccuFire fire starter uh, that we're using to gas and uh, petrol uh, burner system. Works quite effectively up to about 25 kilometers per hour uh, of uh, road speed. It's going quite well here at the moment. We a little 37 hectare paddock to burn and then we'll be on to another job. So the paddock's all burnt. <coughs> Got the laser back of on the job here now. I've been here for a day already. I thought I'd just run through some of the operations of the uh, of the bucket and uh, what it's used for. This is it. I got a 9620R John Deere tractor with a 18 foot Colliery Miller bucket. Very good system. We bought this second hand last year. I've already done one or two projects with it, and now we're just in full swing with the uh, regrading. So what is before we go into the bucket, what is regrading? So basically a flood irrigation bays out here, head ditch at the other end, tail ditch here, water runs from one end to the other. To put that gentle slope on there, you need a laser bucket or something similar that can put a gentle, in this case, 08 uh, grade slope on, on the bay itself. These have been graded once before. What we're doing is regrading them. So someone else has gone to the effort of uh, when you have fresh ground, you have some higher spots and some lower spots all across the bay, and essentially you have to move a lot of dirt to get it flat with a slight grade this way. What we're doing is just regrading that after about, I think we're up to 20 years, these bays, it's been since these bays were done. We've initially been done with something very similar to this system. So basically, this is just a, a machine to move dirt from A to B. And dirt comes in here, builds up in the bowl until you get enough. Then you can close this apron on the front and then take it wherever you need to do, wherever you need to take it. And this bowl will just tip up like this to empty the dirt back out where you need it to be. So cut the high spots, fill the low spots. Today they used to use a laser receiver on the, on the top and a laser tower that was up here spanning around like this. And essentially you could put a tilt on the laser whichever way you wanted to. So in this case, they'd have a 08 of a grade tilt this way, put the tower out in the middle, and essentially the, the laser bucket would make your slope with the laser, so to speak. The laser is control, it controls the height control on this bucket. So you basically on this bucket, you just push number one hydraulic forward and it will um, it will automatically lock on to the right height. Now, clearly this is not a laser receiver, it's GPS. So in the newer age of um, GPS, essentially most laser buckets or a fair percentage of laser buckets have gone to GPS. Yeah, that's my uh, base receiver over there. It's got to be close to the job. There's two walking beams in the back, plus a uh, cross the slope control like this. So it's always at zero percent or trying to get to zero slope most of the time. Uh, when it's out in the bay. You can do any digging passes you generally have to rip so that's what the rippers are on the front here for. Um, they're in they've just sunk down overnight but they usually live in a tucked up position you can put them down when you need to. Sheen's also got a ball um, and cushion hitch system here just to help with the ride when you're crossing the paddock. Generally uh, lay, uh, lays bucketing or bucketing in general is um, done at high speed when you need to cart from one part of the paddock to the other. So they want to be going as quickly as possible. Um, what we're going to be doing today is cross grading or regrading, and we won't have to do too much of that, but we will do a little bit. This is one of the bays I uh, cross graded yesterday. It's almost complete. Um, so basically you go across the bay like this and back like this, and you do basically two passes over every piece of soil in this um in the bay what in turn does is any high spots or low spots in the bay that have developed over 20 years naturally soil will swell or sink just depending on how it was done in the first place we're moving from the high spots to the low spots 
across the bay, not just straight up and down. If you go straight up and down, you tend to end up with a wavy sort of a bay and it's not much good for anything. We'll come back and uh, touch up the tail end, which is the, yeah, the tail ditch end and obviously the head end as well. We'll make sure that they're perfect because that's the critical spot. You want it to run nicely out of your, uh, your irrigation stop at the other end and you want it to run away smoothly into your drain there, the critical ones. Essentially what we're trying to do here is just make this water evenly all the way across. That's all we're attempting to do with a regrade. Um, initial grade's a lot more critical. Regrade, we just have to do it every once in a while. Um, as I said, this is the first time in 20 years. So that's, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing here today. Just chuck some grease at this thing and then um, and then some fuel later on and then we'll be into it and I'll get some footage. Out here zigging and zagging now in a cross grade. Buckets, not much to see down in the bucket in. It's our height control and our Gen 4 monitor. It offsets at zero at the moment. I'm just coming up to a uh, check bank here. They take a little bit more dirt to get them right because generally the check bank, um, it will, when it's made, they, it borrows dirt from either side to build the check bank. And um, yeah, so they require a little bit more attention. Uh, for those who don't know what a check bank is, that stops the water going sidewards. It keeps it in this bay where I'm working. And then, um, so it can't blow too far sideways. You just want the water to come from the top to the bottom and not go too far sideways. So I think there's 75 metre bays and then there's 11 bays in total. So our rip ground out here. We ripped it yesterday before I come in here to start this cross grading. She uses a fair bit of power, towing a bit of dirt here at the moment in the bowl. Basically, as I'm going along, I'll just either have the bowl flat or tipped up, just depending on how much it's either pulling or it's filling, essentially filling where it needs to fill in the paddock. John Deere's uh, track sets and uh, swap track button down here is very handy for this job. I can just have one AB line this way, one AB line this way, and just switch between the two very simply. I've got about six or seven in the screen already, mainly for straights and, and these other bays run a different angle over here. Um, so having those track sets is awesome. I'm glad we got the John Deere for this uh, particular job. Day two of asking for a mother sponsorship. This is what happens, mother, if you don't spot me, I go to Monster. I don't like this very much. So give me a sponsorship, mother, goddammit. Watch themselves from their, uh, from their pivot at there. Ah. Just farming shit up here. Getting a bit agricultural. I'm not the best welder in the world, so if I get the chance to hand it off to someone else, I generally take that chance. And uh, Paddy's pretty good on a welder, so Paddy's in the process of fixing her up. Should be all good as new. So unfortunately for us, we managed to find a crack on one of the back pubs here. And we're just... Uh, just in the process of having a look at the others to see if they've got any. But All welded up. Just think about chucking some fish plate on here just to strengthen it up a little bit more. Our popcorn is coming in at lightning speed and it's not far away from uh, harvest time, probably another week max. Although there is a bit of rain forecast for the weekend, so we'll see how that plays out. We're just here doing some um, maintenance on these. Fixing up the uh, couple of the rollers and whatnot, the knife and the rollers in here. Let's see, 
got one of these ones out in here. Fixing them up. This Jago's done a fair bit of work now, so it's taking a little bit more maintenance every year. And the 9250's on the job this year, so it should be good. Alright guys, that's the end of the video for this week. Make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you all next week. Have a good one.